everyone, welcome back to Mac Break Studio. I'm Mark, I'm here with Steve, and we're having a great time diving into Fonica Pro 10.3 and really digging in and understanding all these new features. And Steve's got a great one today, so check this out. Yeah, I want to talk a little bit about import. There's a feature in the import window called um, IXML. And, well, let's take a look at it. So if I hit Command I to bring up the import window, you'll notice there's a little checkbox assign IXML track names if available. So what's IXML? Ah, I'm, gl <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Well, I have this little slide here, and I created this so I can talk about wh yeah. what it actually is. So, first of all, it's an open standard for the exchange of metadata. Basically, on movie sets, they needed a way to have a, a standardization for, for shot, scene, uh, take information that could be shared amongst different audio workstations and different audio devices, right. and, and that didn't exist 10 years ago. So this really smart group of people got together, and they called them the... Um, is at the Institute of Professional Sound. They're a consortium of sound professionals that wanted to make a standard. And so they, they promote education in this regard and they came up with this IXML standard. And it's specific for audio, basically metadata for audio. That's right. IXML is what they call it. So we already know what XML is, extensible yeah. markup language, but the I refers to them. Okay. Okay, so the, the bottom line is that if you're shooting a feature or a documentary and you have just tons of you know talent and different people you're recording audio wise bringing that into final cut and then roll tagging that would take forever right wouldn't it be nice if the device itself brought in you know you can actually program in that d data put in that information and when it came into final cut it was already ready to go so what it is it's all ready to go okay. so now you can do that so now you can do that but before I show you that I'm going to show you this piece of hardware that's pretty awesome okay, okay. that lets you do it that lets you do it so I have this, there's this piece of hardware that I found, it's called the Zoom F8, yes. and there's also a Zoom F4. F4. Uh -huh. uh, F8 refers to the number of channels. Channel um, and inputs. Right, now this is the big, 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 big brother to the H4n, but this is yes. professional. This does time code, it does, there's that little mixer on the front of it, you've got LEDs for everyone, you have little, little pots. faders, pots, mm -hmm. potentiometers, you got everything there, you got time code, it's, it's amazing. And, they have an app component for it. Oh, nice. So you, so can, you can adjust. drive it from your phone. Right. Uh -huh. The thing that you can't currently do with the app <laughs> is actually enter the IXML data. You okay. have to do that you have on to the do device. it on it. So you exactly. can, but you can enter the name of the talent or the name of the mic or, or, or what have you. Right. In fact, okay. um, let's, uh, let's see. Uh, it's over here. Let's jump over. I'm going to jump over here because y you do this all in the front of the device. So. Here, metadata is being entered. You, you select a track name, what track you want. So he's selecting track yeah. three there, going into the edit mode, and now he's using the little wheel to type in the character name, in this case, Spencer, right? And that's going to be entered for that track. Right. Right? Or if you don't want to yeah. do character names, you can perhaps maybe you want to do like microphone types. That's, that's very common. Like here, uh, track three was entered for lav, and track yep. two was entered for boom. Right? Okay. So you've done it on set. You've done it on set, but a couple uh -huh. other things that I like about this. this. This particular unit is really small and it's compact. It has a little field recording you know, pack. pack. for it, yeah. Yeah, and it's, you, I just want you to get a sense of how small and compact mm -hmm. it is. This thing is it's great. It's got eight channels. It's a uh, thousand bucks on, on Amazon. Nice. Well, the reason this is important, yeah. because the nearest competitor that did IXML was a Tascam model. It was $3,500. So more than triple the cost. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I'm making filmmakers aware that this is there for 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 this IXML yeah. and you and I'm still haven't got to the punchline yet but this is a fantastic device that is IXML compliant and then the four channel is even less expensive than Let, that. it's yeah. uh, a last time I looked on Amazon it was around six hundred dollars for the okay, four, four channel, channel. Ver version wow that's great okay so let's go into Final Cut what I'm gonna do is open the import window and I want to I noticed I created a shortcut in my favorite section to stuff I've recorded with the Zoom yes. F8. Okay? okay. What I want to do is, is I'm going to select these two clips here, and I'll just leave it for automatically assigned sub roles. But I could, if I wanted to, select a, a role that I've signed previously. So, In fact, I already have one called DAR for Digital Audio Recorder. Okay. So, so these two audio files, these two wave files, are recorded with that Zoom F8 recorder. And by the way, you'll notice it's dot wave, because. Yes because in the professional sphere, broadcast wave is the standard, not AIFF. Okay, right, so, and, and the other thing about these wave files is that they're recorded polyphonic. Uh, what does that mean? That means you have a single file, and if you have multiple channels, all those channels are contained in one file. Instead of a bunch of separate files. Right, if, if, if it was monophonic, and you're recording eight channels, you get eight separate files. 
which is a lot to deal with. It's a lot you to deal with. You don't want that. Then. No, you want to record polyphonic, and okay. that's a really important point in dealing with these audits. You're going to have to check your documentation on how to set that up. So I'm going to go ahead and assign this as dialogue and click Import Selected. And I'm going to select the clip. And the inspector's already open. Yes. This is the beauty of IXML. All the characters that were entered on that F8 now show sure. up already named. So each component is named, and those are those are role assignments. They're role assignments. In uh -huh. fact, let me play a little bit. I'm going to just play a little bit of this. Why do you need another lens? It's not just a lens. It's a Canon cinema lens. I hear the declicked aperture is awesome. Isn't, by, that, isn't that awesome? By I, the way, that Spencer is not me. It's a different no, no, Spencer. It's a, yeah. <laughs> but I hear That's IXML is yes. awesome. Yes. Okay, so really neat is that I have the ability vis-a-vis -vis this device to, um, in fact, let me just edit that into the end of this timeline here and expand the subroles. All those subroles show up as lanes in the uh -huh. uh, timeline index. And you've set up your um, clip name to show both the clip name and the subroll name so we can see them both right can, there in the can, timeline. You can see them both right there. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's just fantastic. Wow, okay, I'm sold. So, so it's just something else that saves you a ton of time when you're doing post. If you're if, a professional. If you've the work up front. Right. Yeah, for any, just, you know, shooting interviews and things, you just, you could really name everything up front and just, it's so much faster to figure out what's going on in your project and mm -hmm. you're busy editing and not tagging things and figuring out what things are. Right. Beautiful. Love it. Okay, guys, so what's new in Final Cut Pro in depth? RebelTraining.com will cover all these new features in depth. And uh, we're going to keep going here because there's so much to explore. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching MacBreak Studio.